So it's Latvia's turn to take over the presidency of the Council of the European Union. What should you know about the country that's going to lead its 27 sisters for the next six months? Let's start with something a true leader needs. Honesty. So here it is. Your next leader is flat in the landscape, quiet in temper, cold in temperature, and small in size. Small is not a bad thing. It means that we are used to looking at things more closely. We polish, we angle, we untangle, and we fine-tune until everything is just right. We pay attention to detail, and as we all know, the devil is in the detail. Honestly, our winters are cold. For six months of the year, it is actually snowing here. However, winter has taught us to think ahead and to be prepared for both easy times and hard ones. It's called planning. To be honest, almost everything is flat in Latvia. We don't have the highest waterfall, but we do have a really, really wide one. So we look far, we look wide, and we don't like our vision to be hampered by anything closer than the horizon. Also, our landscape gives us plenty of room for imagination, which leads to creativity, which in turn leads to arts and innovation. It's true, we didn't invent the internet, but we do have one of the fastest internet speeds in the world, and we need it to spread the word about our culture, from one of the greatest collections of Art Nouveau architecture in Riga, to the largest choir festival in the world, to modern art, to world-famous opera singers and ballet dancers. Without making much noise, we've given the world some of its finest classical musicians. And we say almost nothing about our food, but it's just because we've learned that it's not polite to speak with a full mouth. Our food is to be enjoyed, not to be discussed. To be honest, about 50% of Latvia is not covered in forests, which means that the other 50% is. That's why Latvians are a bit closer to nature than the average European finds normal. We drill birch trees for sap, we pick all kinds of mushrooms and eat them. We shock our immune systems by jumping from hot saunas into ice-cold lakes and back again. The truth is we don't always smile, but when we do, it comes from the heart. Latvians are kind of like coconuts, we may be kind of hard on the outside, but when you crack the shell, you'll find a truly friendly soul. Pleased to meet you, honestly. <laughs>